What's up, everybody? Cool. We got everyone on stages now. All right, all right, all right. So I hope everyone has had a good week. Uh, I hope everyone has been smart in the markets and have been treading lightly buying these discounts. Some of these coins that we know and loved fell 40, 50, 60, 70 percent. Uh, so I hope you've been really wise in the market, not panicking too much in the market. Um, if you guys look on my end in terms of crypto, I only alerted two new trades in the month of April. And the other trades that we closed in crypto were just trades in March. So uh, was really just letting off the gas this month for good reason. Knew some volatility was coming into the halving. It's happened every single time in the market. Us as traders, what do we do? We trade patterns and we trade probabilities. So after seeing the uh, seeing this happen numerous times in the market, you know it was very evident to kind of lay off the gas this month in terms of trading and buy all those amazing dip opportunities that we had. Uh, I wish I could have alerted even more dip buys into the long term, but as you guys saw, this is a very very big week for us here at Stock Locked. And I couldn't be more excited, also relieved, uh, and just super happy that we finally get uh, get this platform going. So as you guys know, on Monday, we launched the website, Fody, Pierce, Blast, Semper, Raptor, uh, and Sam and I have been working nonstop uh, on this website. And like I said, it was a lot more than just a website. Uh, the website was just the first step into accessing what is going to be the new version of Stock Unlock, the bigger and better version of Stock Unlock, giving you guys education that uh, is just not out there for the average person and giving you guys education in one area that is reliable, right? We know in the market there are so many ways to skin the cat, and that's why things can get so confusing and so problematic. But now we're giving you guys a platform and a tool set to where not a single person granted for you guys who have been with us now for quite some time because our signups are closed so everyone that is in the chat right now has been with us for a while but when a new member joins us there is absolutely zero reason why they should come into the trading floors without knowing the types of stocks the types of crypto, the types of market orders, stop losses, all that good stuff, right? Because I know for some of you advanced traders, the last thing we want to see after a crazy trading day is somebody asking, hey, how do I set a stop loss? Or how do I do this very simple thing, right? Trading can get very intense, especially during uh, hectic times in the market. And we noticed that the biggest weakness that members faced when they joined us is they would join us and want to jump into a trade right away and that is just not what is supposed to be done in the longevity of trading so what we've built in now is for you guys to join get uh get familiar with all the programs you'll need all the apps you'll need all the different restrictions when it comes to trading stocks and options in different countries all the restrictions it takes when trading crypto in the different countries right so we've put together a system for you guys to get all the information that you need without all the bullshit fluff so right now we're going to introduce three models to you guys which is just the introduction the basics and the tools and there will be more models in introduced uh as the as the weeks uh as the weeks continue on so um really freaking pumped up for that and uh i just forgot what else i was gonna say there's just so much stuff on my mind right now justin so much on my mind so much to do um so yeah uh oh that's that's what i'm saying uh where we've originally when we thought about this whole model and when we built the original curriculum uh we wanted to talk about everything right all the different indicators all the different trading styles all the different time frames all this stuff and and the more and more for that we built it the more and more that we did it erase stuff put new stuff erase stuff put new stuff again the more and more that we did it's like hey why are we going to teach things that we don't even do 
There's no reason to bombard you guys with more information when us as traders, we don't even do it. So we built a program even better. We remove stuff that doesn't matter. And we harped on the stuff that we talked about more and more and more, right? Why am I going to uh, teach you uh, about the death cross strategy, right? If I never trade that myself, why? Just because it's super common? No. So instead we built a super lean program that is still super, super informative. So without some further ado, let me tell the people in the chat to join us on stages. Oh, Fody already got it. Thanks, my man. So without further ado, uh, further ado, let me uh, show you guys the uh, learning center and send you guys the link uh, to get going on it. So again, we got the first three modules out. We want you guys to test it, run through it. Uh, and then after that, we're going to put out all the uh, other modules. Uh, we did a lot of tweaks to make it super, super mobile friendly. So if anyone wants to check it out on their phone later, please do so. But let's uh, get going. I'm going to share my screen right now. All right, so we're live. So if, uh, here is our website right now, guys, that we posted on Monday, which is the, the new website. If you guys have your login account area, when you do log in, you can access the Ivy League right there. Or what else you guys can do is go on learn.stockunlocked.com. Super easy. Uh, if I'm going to go ahead and uh, post the link. Actually, I'll post the link after I, I get done. So I know you guys are paying attention to the presentation. So if here is the Learning Center for Ivy League, guys. Um, if you guys scroll down, these are the four main topics that we touch on. So. Everyone gets access uh, to the Ivy League. Uh, if you guys will get, everyone gets access to the first three modules, introduction, basics, and tools. Uh, the the other modules here are for elite members in terms of the market dynamics, market psychology, and, and market strategies. Uh, we are going to roll out uh, a indicators, breakout patterns, and risk management for everybody. And then elite, you guys will have your own advanced versions of risk management, breakout patterns, up and more. So you guys can see, right, these will be the courses that we offer. You can see a quick little uh, disc description of what everything in the course is uh, and, and basically uh, what, what this module kind of has to offer. Uh, and then these are just basically like the four main points. Well, well, it's three main points when it comes to training, but just the other fourth offer, which is our live workshops, kind of like we do now. Uh, and then the workshops that we do with the uh, uh, with the elite folks. So this entire Ivy League Center is uh, is designed to help you guys with your trading, uh, with your uh, trading, uh, trading mastery, your mindset mastery and your market mastery. So covering basically all three pillars of what it is to trade, right? Learning strategies learning risk management and mastering the psychology when it comes to trading. So uh, let's go ahead and log in. Uh, for your guys' logins will be the same logins that you guys use to log into your account um, on, uh, on the website. Now, when you first log in, it's going to put you right into this area where it's going to say my courses. And these are not in order of, um, of progression, but they're in order of the last thing that you open. So, so if I just opened up the tools right over here, right. And I go back. Um, and then if I refresh the tools, oh, I, get, I have to activate the activity, my bad. So once I activate the activity, interact with that activity, it will go into, um, into your, into your course or overview. And then, so two things to really pay attention to, uh, it's very simple. We have this feature right here where you can click my courses. It'll minimize and maximize uh, all the different categories. Uh, and then your dashboard. Uh, your your dashboard right here is going to have I mean, events that we have. So you guys can see uh, the market unlocked is uh, every single Wednesday. It's the same event that is in the Discord uh, every single Wednesday. You can click on it here uh, and then get some more information on it. Uh, and then again, uh, access all of your courses right down here. As you start um, start accessing the courses and start doing some of the quizzes in there, 
it'll list uh, list your various activities that you have do right here because you do have a seven day window to take the quiz after you've watched the video. And then in some parts um, of the quizzes uh, and in some parts of the lesson itself, you have to watch the first video, pass the first quiz to then move on going forward. And then again, that is gonna cut into the dynamic of, hey, if you watch the video on courses, there's no reason you should be on the trading floor asking these, you know, quote unquote, dumb questions or these very repetitive questions, uh, uh, very repetitive questions that we hear. Uh, you can open this little side panel right here, and it looks even uh, it looks even cooler on your mobile version to um, to basically uh, go through any of the last activities that you just did. So if you pause the video here on like the tool section, or if you um, or if you just access the blast wrap PDF um, and and basically anything that you just accessed will be here in the recently accessed items. Um, and then when you're in your courses as well, and you're going through for like the course overviews and you're going through the introduction, um, you can, once you jump into uh, any of these videos, uh, you'll have a feature right here at the bottom to jump into uh, any of the videos or any of the other quizzes for this category. And then right here, uh, I'm going to hit the play button. So there's there's going to be two buttons right here, folks. There's going to be uh, a play button where it'll it'll start the video for you guys. And then you can hit the go full screen button. And then obviously that'll take you guys to the full screen mode. And then a couple more things here. So and then up in, uh, in the button right here down in calendar, you guys will get a market view. I'm sorry, you'll get a monthly view of the calendar with the events that we have here. So the market unlocked uh, is the uh, every single Wednesday uh, call that we have. Um, and then you can click upcoming events as well, too, if you kind of want to see it bricked out like this, something that I like to do. Um, is just basically have my calendar open and then also have this sidebar open that I can see uh, see the dates for the uh, for the for the upcoming events here. Um, so uh, what most of you guys will see when you go through uh, in your dashboard is the three uh, categories uh, that we have open. Um, you'll go into your introduction. Uh, I'm gonna delete these real quick. Those weren't supposed to be there. My apologies. Terms is right though. Um, so you'll see uh, these uh, these videos here, right here. It's gonna say play video. It's gonna be the video for the trading types, the video for stock types, the videos for the crypto types. And then there'll be a quiz uh, in, uh, in uh, every single uh, section as well. They're very short quizzes, anywhere from 10 to 12 questions. So, I'm uh, super excited for you guys up to uh, to jump into this. Uh, get started on it right away. Go through the first three modules. Uh, please uh, give us some feedback. And uh, there is a, there's a lot, a lot, a lot more to come to this platform. This is just the start of it. It's a very robust platform. We really took our time on it. And then we really took our time on it even more to make it extremely mobile friendly. So yeah. That's uh, that's a platform. I'm gonna post the link right here in the chat. <clears throat> it's gonna be in, in the stages chat, so not in the in the normal chat. And then the login is your normal login to your stock. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. I agree. Uh, one of the reasons why why we started uh, this uh, this this whole uh, education portal was to uh, uh, address those questions that are asked. And then again, right? Uh, no, uh, no, no question is a dumb question. But I think you know all the questions like how to get set up on exchange, uh, how to use a VPN, uh, what crypto exchanges works for uh, uh, works for which countries, right? Uh, being able to answer all those uh, kind of entry level questions and being able to answer the questions that are 
that um, th th that are asked so often is the whole goal for us to have this portal. Um, so yeah, guys, just like you said, you know, if there's any any of those questions that are repetitive, just highlight it out to us. Uh, let us know. Uh, we we like to kind of keep a tally in the help desk. Um, uh, in the in the help desk uh, of those channels. So as more and more questions arise and as people are more more vocal of their needs, that's how the platform gets better, right? It's just like AI or just like any other platform out there. Uh, there is a certain part released and then based off the user feedback, uh, that's how the platform grows, right? Uh, I wouldn't have known uh, to to make these videos or to make these video topics if it wasn't me talking to you guys for month after month, year after month, or for Blaster, or for Fody, or for Pause, Eduardo, Semper, right? Everyone on the team, right? Uh, and we try to build, you know, people, when they start trading, they don't know there's different types of trading. They don't know there's different types of stocks or crypto. So as you guys give us those questions, right? As you guys give us that awesome feedback, like, um, like, uh, uh, Joy Boy just did. That's how we know that this is the kind of stuff that you guys need, and this is how the platform uh, is uh, is ever growing. And eventually, we're gonna have our own app for everything, like our own Discord, our own trade tracker is already in, in the works. I can't wait to show you guys that. Like I'm telling you, the next thirty days is announcement city. Like of when we introduce our trade tracker, our trade calculator, uh, all that good stuff, it's it's gonna be so epic. And then we put that all together in our own stuff, like forget Discord, everyone's doing Discord, right? It's the whole reason why we're getting off of Discord because after doing this with this amazing team of traders that we have for four years, uh, we learned that, you know, in the in the one to three month window was the biggest turnover rate because people just come in and they want to follow alerts. And that's not always uh, and that's um, and, and that's not always the case. Right. Sometimes we're in a slow market. Right. If someone came in April, they'd be like, oh, man, these guys are not trading at all. What are they doing? But you guys have been with us for three months, four months, five, six months. You guys know exactly uh, if you guys know if you guys know exactly what we're doing and why we're doing it. And um, as we as we grow of uh, as we as we grow more of uh, grow more and more together, once we get off this app and really change the education process, everybody here is going to be turning profit. And the way that we're the way that we're structuring the quizzes in the platform, that there's because you have to get a hundred percent to go forward. You can't miss one question. But I'm telling you, the way that I structure the questions and, and the way that I structured the route of the quiz, it's made for you to learn after every single question. And this is, I'm telling you, just the babiest of the babiest, babiest of steps. So there's going to be no reason for anyone to know what a stop loss is. There's not going to be a single reason for one person to be on the trading floors that doesn't know how to calculate their trade size. Because you won't even make it into the trading floors until you've passed all the basics, the tools, and the quizzes. Oh man, the chat's getting slammed with questions. All right, everybody, let me pop my screen over here to Trading View. All right, everybody, let me know if you guys are watching my Trading View. Let's break down the freaking market. Let's talk about what's going on. Let's talk about why none of this at all should be surprising to anybody whatsoever and why we should be buying some dips if we believe in the cryptocurrency market for the long run so let's talk thanos let's talk btc because it's the big one of them all so <clears throat> if you guys remember i have been saying that thanos short um, and Thanos moving averages to the downside are going to be your best friends when we go into a bearish trend and or a bearish market. So if, what starts the bearish trend, right? Well, when the algo is kick into sell, right? That's one option, right? And But how do we get a little bit more advanced stuff if we don't need the algo, right? 
Well, we know that when price action starts to trade below the 34 EMA moving average like this, right? That starts the bearish trend. And it's not until we get back above that that the bullish trend starts, right? We had a minor bearish trend here and everyone kind of thought thought the market was over here, right? We hit almost 50K. They all thought the market was over here and that we were going to go back down. Well, I never try to assume, but instead just trade the price action that happens, right? And uh, one thing that uh, that we talk about is that it's a, it's very rare that we catch the first dip below the 34 EMA, right? Like it's very rare that you caught this short if you're trading the moving averages. Now, if you're trading price action, that's a different story, right? If you're trading price action and you see that the high start to break down from here and you see that price action doesn't break through, you can start a short position here. But to keep it simple, to keep it easy, right? We know that if price action is trading below the 34 EMA and the 8 EMA, which is this white line crosses under, then the bearish trend has started. And because it is so hard to catch that first candle what you want to wait for is for the move to go up and then and then reject and come back down right and that's kind of what happened here on bitcoin in a period of two days price action did below the 34 ema and then it came back to retest the 34 ema here and you can see it had a clear rejection right here off the 34 ema so when that happens right and you uh, and you don't break the moving average above you, the easiest way to trade it, which, you know, it's why we designed it this way, is to just trade the moving averages below. So in layman's terms, hey, if I can't trade past this light blue line, then I'm going to this red line, right? Or right here, hey, if I can't trade past this green line, then I'm going to the purple line. If I don't hold this purple line, I'm going to the light blue line. If I don't hold the light blue line, I'm going to the red line, right? That's why we made Thanos. That's why Thanos is so simple, right? So based off of this rejection, right, you could have caught this move down to the 89 EMA. And that's target one. And it's normal for price action to bounce back up, reject off the 34 EMA, bounce back up, reject off the 34 EMA, and then keep going, right? Uh, I want to say it was Gala. No, just kidding. Oh. One sec. Was it Gala? I was showing somebody. Yeah, Gala. So, so I was showing the same sample here on Gala to a student in a in a in a one on one class, right? Uh, you don't catch the first move down because it's hard to catch the first move. But what you want to catch when you're shorting the market is the rejections coming off the 34 EMA, the rejection off the 34 EMA, this white candle, this white candle, or oops, uh, uh, or for you guys, it would be a red candle. Those would be your entry candles. And then you trade price action, um, trade price action down, right? Comes back to the 34 EMA. This is your entry. If you miss the first move, price action goes, right? Target one, target two, it goes again, right? And then you reattempt. And then you finally get stopped out right here and you hit two targets. Uh, I was showing this to uh, on, uh, on another chart as well. Maybe it'll, uh, it'll come to me. Uh, as we keep going through them but so uh so so with all that said and let's just go over eth uh ETH, eth real quick too right you can see eth is doing the same thing right it's trading the moving averages down it's gliding down through this 8 ema so the market is training bearish and if we don't hold this 144 ema and if we keep rejecting off this 89 ema then we're going to go down up to the 200 right so, uh, so all that said, right, uh, the reason why we laid off the gas into the crypto trading for this month is because we know about the halving, we know about the halving coming up, right? We hit every single FIB target from the last uh, cycle of crypto, right? The last target was 74K, we hit 73.85, right? Um, and then, you know what, price action started to break down. And people who were looking at maybe the four hour caught this breakdown of a little bit sooner than people trading the daily, right? So if you were looking at a four hour, you were able to catch this breakdown of 
a lot, uh, a lot easier right here because it broke down, came back, and then rejected off the 34 EMA, and then you traded all the moving averages down, and then uh, from there you were basically done since you hit up all your last targets, and that's how you can kind of trade it down on the on the lower time frames. So the reason why I didn't try to short this market is because we had killed it so aggressively in the last six months that it's okay to take a break, especially when there's a huge catalyst coming up. Uh, plus, we had the website, the learning center to launch, and overall, the whole macro perspective on uh, on the Bitcoin and crypto market is still massively bullish. Uh, we're getting, I looked up this stat just the other day, we're getting about 4% uh, of more holders every single month. That means 4% uh, growth in wallets uh, month after month in the crypto market. So, 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 so more and more people are jumping into the crypto market. Uh, the shorting was also very quick and my bias is still bullish on the overall macro market. So I was okay with not having to short these dips that is just a few days, right? These dips are very, very quick in, in the market. They last a few days to just a few weeks. So with everything that we did in the last six months, I could care less to try to short this market for a little bit more gain to the downside. Um, instead, take this time to learn, wait out, buy these uh, great dips that are that are popping up on some of these coins, right? Like. There were so many of us who were ready to buy Matic Link, Gala, APT, AVAX, Sol at these higher prices, big time at 40, 50 cents. Now stuff has dropped 20, 40, 60%. There's, a, there is a, there's massive, massive sales in the, in, the, in the crypto market. And where I like to buy for my long term, where I like to start building is at the 144 and at the 200 uh, these are my buy zones and this is where i've been buying when i alert it in the long-term channels and then anything that goes down way below past the moving averages then i look for historical uh support like way historical uh, uh hi historical buying areas so on eth in a super macro sense would be like right here in this trend area um it's like so with 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 the having just three potentially four days away, uh, there's if there's going to be uh, some more uh, some more volatility uh, in the market. Uh, uh, it, uh, expect that. Uh, again, I'm taking ten days off starting the twenty third, so I'm back May second because I'm going to a wedding out of, out of the country, and that starts my trek into Europe. But I'll be back May second full time, and that gives us just enough time for the dust to settle in the crypto markets for us uh, for us to get back into longs. Uh, and then one more thing before I kind of dive into Web3 with Vody, uh, I really want you guys uh, to look at the entire market caps of the crypto market. Uh, if you guys don't know how, how to do that, uh, there's three very simple assets. Uh, it's called Total. Uh, the first one, which is just Total, uh, it's, the, it's the crypto market cap overall <clears throat> so a reason of reason why uh i'm uh i'm i'm looking at total is because of even though bitcoin hit new highs this year right uh the total crypto market cap ecosystem never hit new highs so uh total is the market cap for the entire crypto market including bitcoin and e so, so the tip top right here was just right over three trillion, and we never even crossed three. We hit two point seven right here. But if you guys know Blast Rat, if you're just looking at the total market cap, right, this trades just like anything else, right? If this is the Thanos moving average breakouts right here, and then now we have a Blast Rat kind of setting up on total, we need to hold right here, down at one point seven trillion market cap, if and then uh, and then I uh, keep going forward. Uh, Two two other assets to look at is total two and total three. Uh, total two uh, is the market cap uh, excluding Bitcoin and ETH, so the altcoin market cap. So total three of is your altcoin market cap. So reason why I was 
buying altcoins so bullishly and still am buying altcoins so bullishly is the altcoin market rally still has not seen its significance either. Uh, if we have a great bounce off the 34 EMA here, off the total three, and look, guys, the the, the market caps trade just like charts, right? And this is what what a lot of of uh, a lot of big money looks at. So uh, the total three is without Bitcoin and ETH, and that's why again I am so bullish on the altcoin market. Is when after this halving, historically after every halving, after the volatility. We've hit new highs and we've basically skyrocketed. And us as traders, we like to trade historic. We like to trade patterns. We like to trade probability. So that is still my mindset going into the halving. And more importantly, the, the charts are all backing this up, right? Everything chart-wise is backing this up, right? I don't care that Bitcoin, obviously that sucks, right? I lost a ton of money in my, in my long-term account, but that's okay, right? It's, it's a part of the process. The market has to trend and then breathe and then trend once again. But um, uh, after after the halving, uh, we we should see a Bitcoin run again. And the reason why I'm saying based off the chart is because chart wise, we're still in a massive uptrend, right? We've hit new all time highs. We're still making higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. But now the trend is no longer bullish because yes, guys and girls. We are under the 34 EMA on the daily. So macro, still bullish, trend-wise, bearish, can still go to the downside even more if we don't hold these moving averages, right? We can go down to 54. This loses, then that would suck. We'd go down like about 48. But on the weekly chart too, right, the weekly 34 EMA is way down here around 46, 47. By the time Bitcoin does keep going lower, this will probably go to that 48 area as well. So i'm i'm just observing right with us with us breaking down these moving averages right i'd be a lot more aggressive on shorting the market and shorting altcoins if the halving wasn't coming up in four days uh and then just one other total to look at is the total two but i really don't uh look at total two i just I don't really uh, care much for it uh total two is a market cap without bitcoin um very similar to kind of like the altcoin uh, total chart. But what I like to look at guys uh, is, is total. And the reason why I like to look at total so much is just to see where we're at, right? Because, uh, because, because even though all of us are so like crypto is amazing because we're so in the cut, we're so in the trenches of crypto, to the general public, a lot of people are still really scared of crypto, right? A lot of people are still scared of crypto a lot more than they were in 2021 and 2020 still. Uh, and you can basically kind of sense that because even with Bitcoin hitting new highs, the all-time market cap uh, wasn't really hit. So so like a lot of Bitcoin has been bought up. A lot of new wallets have emerged. A lot of new institutional money has emerged because of the ETFs and like all that. But the market cap is still not hitting highs from a twenty, uh, still not hitting highs from twenty twenty one. So I really, really do think though that after the halving, we'll see, uh, we'll see quite a different uh, story. Thanos, let's fucking go for sure. Bearish and golfing too. Yep. Uh, also bearish and golfing, especially on that weekly. Um, Analyst for the win for sure. Fody, what's going on in uh, Web3 world, bro? Yeah, there's um, <clears throat> yeah, me rare. There's definitely um some things I want to touch on real quick. I'm gonna keep it short today, but some important key points kind of keep you prepared for the having. It actually might come sooner than uh then then four days from now probably like there's 300 blocks left right so probably like two days maybe two and a half um, most yeah, three yeah that's really not much left um but let's talk about runes let's get you prepared for runes since that's gonna be the next biggest thing in the bitcoin ecosystem um <clears throat> we touched on it last um last uh market update 
kind of want to touch on it one more time. Guys, if you didn't check earlier, but under the NFT update channel, there's two wallets that you need to have um, that, are, that are pretty much like their their rune interface is already built in. Uh, and that's OKX and, and Xverse. And then also that tweet has really good information about um, – <clears throat> about new marketplaces that are going to support it. One thing I wanted to show, I'm going to share my screen here right now. One sec. Let me just get this pulled up. Uh, present. Share screen. Do, do, do. Window. And. Here, we'll, we'll just share my entire screen right here. Share right here. All right, we'll share that. And then on Discord, I'm going to share this. Perfect. Okay. So also, okay. There's like I would mention on my post and empty updates, there's, if you want to get into runes, um, there's going to be ornal projects that are going to airdrop you runes. Runes are like a meme coin or some other kind of, um, some other kind of like rune compatible thing. Uh, these, there's a tab on magic Eden.io. If you go there, you can click on pre runes. These are all the projects <clears throat> that uh, that are going to be airdropping some sort some some sort of rune to you if you hold one of these NFTs. Now that doesn't mean like all these projects are good. I'm sure some of these are rugs. I'm sure some of these suck. Um, they're completely worthless. So let's you know do your research. But off a couple of my head that you know ones that I'm looking at probably buying tonight. Um, either rune nodes, rune nodes were airdropped to all no monks holders. Um, so I'm assuming it's going to be something of quality. That's one I'm looking into. And then also looking into, uh, rune X possibly. These are kind of like on the pricier side. Um, <clears throat> as far as like, as far as like something cheaper, I was actually looking to uh, XO Unchained a little bit. Now I, I haven't looked into it thoroughly, but that's one of the uh, one of the ones that had my eyes on. Uh, and then yeah, I'm just kind of like going through all these right now to see like you know what could possibly be you know something decent or, or or something that you know is a little risky that's cheaper and then could possibly run up because of its you know whatever kind of rune mechanism it has with it. Um, but yeah. I look through these, see if you, you know, see if anything sticks out to you. But the the whole <clears throat> the point here is if you if you want to get into runes, like the whole point is to buy these before the having, because that's when runes launch. Um, or the rune protocol. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And then kind of just wanted to talk about the NFT market in general. <clears throat> I mean it um, you know, ordinals, <clears throat> bitcoins itself, or you know, there's still their floors are kind of holding pretty solid. You see some dips here and there. Uh, but when it comes to like ETH NFTs and Solana NFTs, there's still a lot of blood in the market. You know, obviously NFTs and meme coins are kind of like the first ones affected of like when the market dips, you would say, right? Um, you know, and with world events, with current world events going on and, you know, greed and everything, like that you're usually going to see these kind of dips. Uh, but like I said, you know, you stick to the same rules. We're buying the blood. You know, I know if there's a project that you had your eyes on for quite a while, um, you know, that, you know, has like stood through the test of time. That's kind of entering your price range. I think, you know, I think th these are like one of the few opportunities in a bull run to buy things at a discount. Uh, but as far as like new projects coming out and stuff like that, just be careful. It, you know, it's still, it's still a little rough out there. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I, oh, I also want to uh, bring up one thing. Me and Arthur are thinking of, you know, since the NFT floor is just more than NFTs now, I, it's just, we're, I think we're just going to, uh, I mean, I, yeah, well, all right, I'll just, whatever. I mean, it's not, it's not that cool, but like, it's not that cool, but you know, it makes, it makes more sense, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say with that right now. Um, if you guys have any questions about Web3 stuff, I'll read right now. But yeah, or if anyone wants to come up and talk to me about anything, I'll I'll give you guys a little bit to uh, 
to respond if you want to. I just did one more little quick update to the Learn Center. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it on my side. Sweet. Uh, that's all I have for the um, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, almost rage time, son. I hope I hope you guys are buying these dips. Uh, I'm gonna share my screen one more time, real quick. Oh, yeah, can you pause yours real quick? Can you see my screen, J Dog? Bye. Uh, so you guys will uh, also have a uh, have a little uh, course index right here to the left on these three little drop downs. Uh, once you guys complete the assignment, it'll kind of cross it out here, and then you guys have the quizzes for them too. And then once you guys complete it, it'll get crossed out, and then this bar will also fill up. And then if you guys can go to the next thing. Uh, and then um, some some of the files that we'll be posting uh, for you uh, for you uh, elite folks as well who are looking at the strategy slides. Uh, if you'll have these uh, really cool uh, really cool PDFs right here like this. Uh, if this is like our terminology, if you guys can scroll through it. Uh, and this is just kind of all the stuff that we talk about. Um, you know, just like those like quirky words that we kind of say, like LOD, NHOD, you know, for low, you know, as I say, it, low of day, new lows of day, like what's a rug, what's a hun honey pot, KOIC, docs, all that good stuff, especially for you newer traders. And really, really check this out on mobile. It looks so fire on mobile it's so fire on desktop too i can't wait to keep adding to this it's going to be great all right i'm going to post the link and announcements for everybody as well but that uh that is it for me that is it for stock unlocked that's our that's our crypto market update and our nft market update um that's uh That's uh yeah, that's it. Sweet guys. If you guys have any questions, let us know in the chat. Uh see you guys next week for the market update.